Do I really have to do this? Yes, you have no choice. Okay. I guess I'll go ahead and do it then. Here we go. Oh, they were on me. You disingenuous, dense motherfucker. Obviously, you'd have to know something about something, or else you wouldn't tie your shoes. So, to all you disingenuous, dense motherfuckers out there, this one is for you. Why does it always look like I smell shit? Maybe it's because you are a shit, silly boy. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I am a piece of shit. Well, damn, I just broke the fourth wall twice in a row. How do you like that? Okay, make that three. Jesus Christ. Stop it. 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 Kiki. Do you love me? You're not gonna believe what just happened. Is he singing to himself again? <laughs> It's been a while since I could hold my head up high. It's been a while. What are you looking at me like that for? Okay, are you going to tell me or am I going to have to beat it out of you this time? We don't want to get copyright claimed. Oh, okay. That's cool. I guess I'll get started. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to an episode of S Talking to Myself News. S Talking to Myself News. God, my freaking pronunciation's been off as hell lately. Okay. It's story time. It's story time. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you've noticed or not, but... I'm going to be 28 years old in a couple of months. Actually, it's more like seven weeks, but it's close enough to two months to where I could just say fuck it. Right? I'm alright with that. I'm perfectly fine with that. I don't mind it. In fact, I've never felt better. And you know something? A lot has happened in the last few weeks. I got my first hemorrhoid. I had to put some... Whatever the hell it's called. I don't know. Hydrocortisone? Whatever that lotion is. I had to put some lotion in my ass. But, you know, that's because I wasn't wiping my ass good enough. But you already know that, right? You can relate. Point I'm trying to make is, I've been doing some drawings to pass the time. So, since I'm too poor and too impoverished to afford an art gallery, which costs a few thousand dollars, I decided I'm going to do an art gallery of my own, you know, a little bit of show and tell, right? So I have compiled together a series of sketches and drawings that I have made over the last few months. Here's one of them. Notice anything different? Had a much different style back then, even a few months ago. Crazy, right? Yeah. I got another one for you. Check this shit out. Check this out, right? 
This is my portrait of a metal musician named Eel from Spain, Basque Country. This is him at his best. You know, when he's in the studio recording with his keyboard, vocals, synthesizers, keyboards, guy's a freaking legend. He's been doing this for about as long as I've been alive, actually longer than I've been alive. But anyway, enough about that. Let's let's keep going. I got another one, and this is this is just number three. And I have about like seven more of these to go. Holy shit. Okay. This is another one. This is a sketch that I made a couple years back. And I know I said a few months, but obviously that's a lie, because obviously if I were saying that this was made within the last few months, obviously I'd be lying. Because I can't always be right. Why would I always want to be right? But anyway, this is a gift that I made for my friend Little Invisible 001 on DeviantArt. I did a video chronicling the making of this drawing on my first Skull Media channel a couple years ago. Check that out. Okay. I've got another one for you. Here's yet another drawing I made. This is of a merman, obviously. The proportion is a little bit out of whack. But I mean, what the hell, right? I tried. Here's another one I made, right? This is a drawing I made regarding a certain legend, a certain urban myth, right? This son of a bitch is not amused. He's looking at you like he's seen everything. This, There's nothing this guy hasn't seen. Look at this son of a gun, huh? This guy's seen everything. Okay. I have another one for you. I have another one for you. This is a portrait of myself that I made using only gel pens. I did this a few weeks ago. Notice how dead I am inside. How how absolutely screwed up in the head I am. I mean, I tried to draw myself in a hoodie, but obviously I failed. Miserably. Or otherwise, I wouldn't have done it on freaking college rule paper. I'm not a very good artist. You already know that, though. Let's see. I did another one about a few weeks before this. I call this portrait of a cuckold. You know why? Because I'm a beta male fucking cuck. This is how I picture myself with longer hair. A little bit more slick back. Kind of like what I have hair. Hair? God damn. I'm starting to sound like a fucking white trash hillbilly. But anyway, I did this a few weeks before the last one that I showed you. Obviously, it's not the best, but it's the most solid looking one that I've done of all my gel print drawings as of late. Can't believe I'm having to explain this to you guys. Here's a, here's a bit of fan art that I did. For a good friend of mine from Brazil named 100 Million Points, also known by her real first name, Brenda. I did this as part of a contest entry for one of her contests. I didn't place in it because it looks like shit, obviously. 
All my drawings look like shit, but at least I try, okay? I freaking try. I do what I can to make ends meet. I do my best in whatever it is I do. If it's not good enough, I say fuck it, and I keep trying. That's just kind of how I am. Of course you can tell, right? Of course you can tell. Of course. Okay, we got a couple more of these. Got a couple more of these. Oh, you want to see some more fan art? Well, you're in fucking luck, because today's your day. This is a drawing I made for a recent friend of mine named Humble3 of one of her characters, or one of his characters. I don't know. If, I don't remember if she's male or he's female or what. But like I said, you never, you can never tell with genders because there's always a 50-50 chance you're going to get the gender right. But I'm just going to refer to Humble 3 as it. Because I don't remember what gender that person is. Here's the thing. This is probably the better, this is probably one of the better looking gel pen drawings I've made. As you can tell. I spent a considerable bit of time on this, even though I really only spent about 70, 75 minutes tops. Okay, I got two more for you. Got two more for you. A little bit of show and tell has been going on. A little bit longer than it needs to, but fuck it. I got lots of drawings to show you. Here's another gel pen drawing that I made of myself. I look more like a freaking alien than I do an actual human being in this one. But I tried to be realistic. I tried to think realistically. Of course, obviously it's not the best. Because it's freaking gel pens! What do you expect? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. One more of these, and then I'll move on to something else. Okay. This is my latest self-portrait. I made this using markers. Alright? Be warned. It's not perfect. Take a look. Here's your clue. That's not indicative of how well I can do with markers. Then I don't know what is. Because that is the most solid. And I, I didn't even use markers for almost a year. Before I started back up using markers again. This was my first time using markers in a fucking year. And somehow or another I made it work. I don't know how I made it work, but I made it work. See the facial hair? Kind of uncanny, isn't it? Yeah. Really uncanny stuff, isn't it? Really uncanny stuff. Okay. Let's talk about something else. Okay. I'm telling you, every day I wake up, and I've been doing this for a couple of weeks now, every once in a while, I'll wake up realizing what I need to do, and then I'll just do it. Because if you really think about it, if you really think about it, and a couple of the dogs are out again, but I don't care. I'll fix that. I'll fix that at some point. Right now, I'm just focused on getting these dogs fed. I'm focused on getting them nourished. Because they need to be nourished. They deserve to be nourished. And damn me if I'm not going to nourish them. Because they deserve nothing less than the best from me. And if I can't get that, then obviously I don't need to live here. Pretty simple, right? 
You know, I've been pretty fucking hard on myself lately. A lot of the things that aren't my fault, I blame myself for anyway, because I actually give a shit about what people expect out of me. Because I actually care about people. And I want to help them out as much as I can. But some people you just can't help out. Some people you just can't help. And sometimes you can't help yourself. Because it's just not possible in this day. It's just not possible. And the sad part about that is, at the end of the day, it usually won't make a difference. It usually won't make a difference. You know why? I will tell you why. Because every day I wake up, there's not a moment that passes my ass by where I don't think to myself, ah, oh, shit, here we go again. Here we go again. Same old bullshit, different day. Right? I'm sure many of you can relate to that. Many of you feel me on this. Many of you can relate. Because the struggle is fucking real. When you're having to do the same monotonous bullshit every single day, eventually it gets boring and you want to do something different. Or else something else might come of it, and then again something might not. But who the hell is keeping school? Obviously not me. I'm just trying to make sense of it all. I'm just trying to do my best and trying to be a good human being, even though I'm a shit human being. I'm not really a good human being. I'm just shit. I'm the pissing shits. I'm the absolute pissing shits. But only because I was born that way. Not because I choose to be, but because I was born that way. See, I have discovered in this life that there are two kinds of people in this world. There are two kinds of human beings in this world. There are human beings that won't change, meaning people who are in a group home setting. And then there are people who can't change, people like me. People that try to change, but no matter how much they try, they can't because the world around them is waiting for them to fuck up so that they can leap on those people like wolves. I mean, it really is that simple. You know what I'm saying? It's really not that hard to understand. Why anyone would make it hard to understand, I have no idea. But at the end of the day, it's like, Fuck me if I'm not going to try my best in life to do my best at whatever it is that I do. Or else I wouldn't be doing anything right. Right? Right. And it's that simple. Some things you're just born knowing. Other things you're not. Some nights, and you know, I stayed up till 2 in the morning last night, making this one video that just a couple hours ago, as of me recording, I uploaded to my YouTube channel. It's the first several, se it's the first several episodes of Season 5 of Savage Level Omega Knoll. I'm not gonna leave you with this I'm not gonna leave you a link in the description because I trust you guys enough to find it on my channel. Because if I leave you guys a link in the description, you guys are just gonna say, oh well that'll just give me all the reason in the world to be fucking lazy, right? See, I trust you guys to look over my stuff. I trust you guys to look at my content and find it otherwise I won't be saying no I'm not gonna leave you a link in my description because I trust you to find it 
I mean, you know? I mean, for fuck's sake. You people gotta understand. I do these videos for free. I pay nothing to do these videos. I don't pay a single penny to do these videos. And I don't make a penny off of any of these videos. I do this for free. And I make these videos for free. I don't make a dime off of these. Nor do I want to. Do you know why I don't make a dime off of these? Because if I were to monetize my videos, you know what would happen? The first thing that the fucking copyright hounds on YouTube would do, and these are the same monkeys that run the website, by the way, the first thing that they would do is flag my video, put a copyright strike on it, just because it has the wrong music in there, just because it has the wrong thing in there, just because something that I think is so innocent, something that I find enjoyable, might be offensive to everybody else. So that'll just give them a reason to say, fuck you, I'm not letting you fucking make money off of this. Right? It's pretty simple. And Amos is a fucking hyperactive dog, and he doesn't know any better. And I respect that. And I understand that. And I acknowledge that. And I realize that. Because that's just how he is, and I accept it. Excuse me a minute. I don't know if you've been keeping score or not, but I take care of animals for a freaking living. What do you do? What the hell do you do, huh? You just sit at home playing video games? Trying to find your senpai? I take care of animals for a living. I feed them. I water them. I let them outside all day when it's sunny and warm out. I give them water when they need it. What the fuck do you do? Tell me what you guys do! I'd love to hear it. Send me your hobbies in the comments section. I encourage it at this point, because I'd love to know what you guys do for a living. I'd like to know what you guys do in your spare time so I can get a better understanding of what your lifestyles are like. You know what I'm saying? I mean, since I'm being honest here, I don't mean to be, but I'm kind of a nosy son of a bitch. I really am. I don't mean to be, but I am. I like to know what people are doing just so I can feel good about myself, just so I can make them feel good about themselves. Even if it means demeaning myself and berating myself, I want to make them feel good. I don't want to feel good. 
I want them to feel good. Because I'm not worried about me anymore. I'm not worried about what's going to happen to me because I put my trust in the Lord. And He's going to take care of me. And God's going to take care of me through His Son and the Father and the Holy Spirit. You know, the Holy Trinity, right? Not to mention the extra fourth wheel that comes to this car known as divinity, which is death itself. And death comes in a bony figure that's hooded, right? A skeleton with a black hood, of course. So Father, Son, Spirit, and Faith. Jesus, God, the Holy Spirit, and death. Right? It's gonna do it. I'm fucking done. See you guys next time.